movie. And you are just fantastic in this movie. Now, is acting something you've always wanted to do? Is this a passion that you've had forever? Yeah, um, I started acting when I was five or six, um, my short little life. But, um, you know, I would sit in acting classes, and my favorite thing to do was just try to memorize everyone's lines. And I love the fact that you can bear your whole heart and your whole soul into different characters and add different dimensions and different depths to them and not necessarily live the life that they're living. So you can explore so many so many different ways of living, and I, I love that. And you really delved into this. I mean, you studied the language. You studied all the culture. What did you have to do to research this role? Um, read like thousands and thousands of books. Um, when I got to Virginia, they had a great research team there, so I, I was reading all the books, uh, reading Terence's script and learning Algonquian, um, which was the dead language, and they recreated it. So uh, I can still speak Algonquian to this day because I really made myself learn it so I could not worry about what I was what, what I was trying to say and not know what I was meaning, but so I could more lose myself in the character of Pocahontas and and just be able to talk in Algonquin. And just one last question. What was it like working with Terrence Malick in your first big movie? You know, he is so wonderful because he really allows his actors so much artistic freedom and to fully immerse themselves in their character and bring it to life in their own way. So um, it, it was great working with him because I, he, we never really rehearsed anything either. It was all spread of the moment. And I, I love acting on my impulses at the risk of looking extremely silly or, or, or being wrong. So it was, it was so great, especially to work with such an accomplished cast as well. well. It was very different for me working with Terry because he does like to vary. But w what's interesting is that, in fact, the movie is exactly the script. It's just, yes, it is. It's just not, not all the words are the same. He changes dialogue. He changes where the scenes take place. But essentially, the exact story that's in the script is the exact story that's on film. Now, was it always meant to have the narr narration put in at the very end, or was that actually dialogue that was going to be in the film with the character saying? No, Terry really Terry works better with narration than, than anyone. That's really his, his you know one of his strong suits. So he knew that in the post production process, once he saw what it, what dialogue he wanted to leave in and where he wanted to take it, then he adjusted the the voiceover. He experimented with that throughout post production. Now, I heard that there's 16 less minutes in the theatrical release that's going to come out than the part that's screened for the critics. What got trimmed down? You know, very. you'll be hard-pressed to know the difference, to be honest. There are, yes, there are no scenes cut at all. It's just when Terry finished his extended version, which is more leisurely and has additional footage from, from this version that you've seen, he realized there were certain things that really weren't necessary in the theatrical version. He went in and he just tightens, just nips and tucks throughout. And it, it was resulted in quite, you know, a significant cut. Is the second cut really what he meant to do? We certainly had a deadline to get the film done, to get it in the theaters, to get it out screen for people. And honestly, it was, it was something that most directors don't have the luxury to do, which is to finish a film be able to sit back and take a few weeks to think about it yeah. and go at it again. I mean, it was really kind of a lucky break that, they, that New Line was planning a slow rollout, so we were able to accommodate this change once he made it.